Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an automatic 1.2 volt battery charger. This battery charger can charge nickel cadmium batteries and nickel metal hydride batteries. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. Let's see the working of this charger. We have used LM393IC as a voltage comparator and we have given a reference voltage to its inverting input which is its pin number 2. We have used a diode and a 10k resistor to make a voltage divider. This divider makes 0.6 volts which is given as reference. We have used a 5k trim pot as a voltage divider. This will divide battery voltages and these voltages are given to non-inverting input of the competitor which is its pin 3. We have used a transistor at the output of the competitor. So when the battery is fully charged, the competitor turns off the transistor and the circuit stops charging the battery. That will protect the battery from being overcharged. The red LED is turned on when the battery is being charged and when the battery is fully charged, the green LED is turned on. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First connect a 3.3 volt regulator and connect its pin number 1 to positive supply and its pin number 2 to ground. After that connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that I am gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin 3 of IC and its negative pin to ground. After that I am gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that connect LM393IC and connect its pin number 4 to ground and its pin number 8 to pin number 3 of the regulator. After that connect 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 2 of the IC and its cathode to ground. After that connect 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that connect a BC557 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 8 of the IC. After that connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of BC557 transistor and its other pin to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to cathode of second diode. 
After that, connect the battery holder and connect its negative pin to ground. After that, connect a 1 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive pin of battery holder and its other pin to cathode of third diode. After that, connect a 5K trim pot and connect its center pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its one side pin to positive pin of battery holder and its other side pin to ground. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a red LED and connect its anode to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its cathode to ground. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a green LED and connect its anode to pin number 8 of the IC and its cathode to cathode of 4th diode. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of green LED and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's connect the battery to the circuit and test it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have learned something from this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.